Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a different video. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about hair. You can probably tell by the title. Um, I am not educated in hair. I mean, I'm self-taught makeup artist, so I mean, I've never really been taught how to do hair. Just, you know, I kind of just learned from other people on YouTube or just friends or whatever. Just growing up, I mean, you just accumulate some information, just how to curl your hair, it's not that hard. But I've been asked a lot of questions about my hair, um, surprisingly, which is really nice of you guys. And um, just asking how I style my hair to do a hair tutorial, I really wanna do a hair tutorial. So I was like, sure, I'll do a hair tutorial. Um, you guys know that whatever you guys ask me, I'ma do it. So basically right now, um, I just washed my hair today. Um, I use Aveda products on my hair for the most part. I really like Aveda because it's a lot of its natural products. But yeah, basically I'm just going to tell you guys so what I do with my hair, how I style it. I'll start from I guess like whenever I get out of the shower. After I towel dry my hair, I use this Aveda product. It's called Brilliant Damage Control. Um, they always use this whenever they're doing my hair and I really like it. It's kind of like a detangler they, they say. It says um, it helps protect from thermal and UV damage and reduce breakage for all hair types. So I do this, you know, when my hair is wet. Um, I just spray it all over my hair. Um, and then I use my wet brush, which you can't really see it says wet brush. But it's this little wet brush. I think you can get these now at Target. I got mine at Sally's, I think. Um, but it's awesome. This is pretty much my only brush that I use. Uh, or I always use it when it's wet. But sometimes I use it dry as well. Um, and it really helps just get the tangles out, you know, whenever your hair is all tangly. And then, so after I do that, I use this um, Aveda Pure Abundance Style Prep. It's this little green bottle, and um, this is really good for volume. It says infuses hair with all day weightless volume. So I spray this all over. You can use this when your hair is wet or dry. Usually at the salon, they use it when it's um, wet. Um, but it really does give you a lot of volume, which is great. And a lot of times with volume, you have to actually style and um, use like a teasing brush like this to get the volume that you want. But this actually really gives you a good amount of volume. Um, so I spray it all in my hair, and I just really work it in. And um, they use this a lot at the salon too, so I'm like, they're using it, and I'm liking the way my hair is turning out, and I love the way it smells. Then I'm just gonna try it out. So I really, I really love this. I really do. And you have to shake it really, really good before you use it because otherwise it won't work. So just keep in mind in case you want to buy any of these products. And then. After that, I use some of this Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types. Um, it's just like an oil, um, I'm sure you guys know about Moroccan oil, argan oil, whatever. Um, I usually just get two pumps of this in my hand and I just kind of get it on my fingertips and I just apply it to the ends of my hair when it's wet before I'm about to blow dry and then I get whatever's left after I have most of it off and I just kind of brush it through my hair to get like flyaways because you guys know I have flyaways. Um, but anyway, so after that, I just blow dry my hair. Um, I usually use a round brush. I have like a chi round brush and I don't really, I, I can't round brush it. I really, really wish I could because I love the way my hair looks when it's a full blowout and all, you know, round brushed out. I love it. I just kind of get the ends and make sure they're not, because if I didn't do it, I mean, then they would be like, I don't know. They're still kind of straight, but whatever. But anyways, so now onto like the styling with my hot tool that I use. This is what people, um, when people have asked me to do a hair tutorial, this is what I use in those videos. Like people ask on my Sephora haul video, my summer edition, they're asking me to do, um, like I've had a lot of uh, comments about my hair. So in that video, I used this product. This is a Numi, I don't know which one this is. I think it's just a basic wand. I can link all the information down below, but it's a new me wand. I really like the pink, so I got the pink. I just part my hair like this, and then in the back, I just have it parted like that. And then literally all I do is I just grab sections. So I'm gonna start with my lower section first. And I don't, I'm not always that precise. It depends on like what I'm doing, or like if I don't have that much time, then I'm just gonna like, do really big curls, um, but I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit more lioness today, a little bit more voluminous, lioness-ish. Just take a small little section like that, I know you can't really see, but I just take a small little section and then I use the wand and then I wrap it around away and I leave the ends out typically. Um, if you can see, I don't know if I'm getting the right angle, but I leave the end out like that. And I leave it for about, the smaller pieces maybe 10, 15 seconds, and the larger pieces 20, 25 seconds. 
Um, I know that sounds like a lot of time, but... And then I just hold my hand there, like that. And there you go, you have a great curl right there. And it takes not that much time. The thing, the reason why I really like this wand in particular is because when I do my hair with this wand, my hair stays curly for like at least a couple days. And I'm a huge fan of like second day hair or third day hair sometimes, I usually wear it up. And I just cut my hand like that and let it fall into my hand. And you're really supposed to wear a glove when you're doing this, just FYI, I came with a glove, but I don't wear it because I like to live on the dangerous side of life. If I get burnt, then oh well, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, there we go. Drap to fab. I just pretty much do this to my whole head. I use a lot of hairspray at the very end, but I don't like curl, or I don't spray every single curl, just because that would take forever. And I ain't trying to do that. The only thing I hate with this one is like I don't have a hand free to like text or do something. I have to keep both hands on deck. But anyways, I'll probably spray this little section. And let me show you my favorite hairspray ever. I've talked about this on my channel, I believe, is the L'Oreal Paris L Net Satin Hairspray. It says new on it. I don't know if it's that new. Unscented Extra Stronghold. Love this stuff. I don't love the um, the scent of the original one. I think it kind of smells a little funky. So I get the unscented. And it still, of course, has a scent to it, but it's not as weird. Okay, so I'm at my last layer at the top. Um, I did all these. What I literally do is I just grab pieces underneath... Um, like this I just separate it and like I'll just go through and like do start at the back and work my way up and do the curls like I showed you guys um, but I am going to just take this last top layer and if you want a little bit more volume as far as styling and teasing um, you can just get like your little uh, teaser brush which I love these brushes sorry I'm having a little moment here with this lioness hair it gets a little out of control um, but I have a Paul Mitchell brush. Paul Mitchell Pro Tools. I got this with my friend at Cosmo Prof. Um, I really, really like it. I don't use it a whole lot as much as I used to because I used to tease the crap out of my hair all the time. Um, back in my sorority days. As you can notice also, I don't go to the very top. Like, I don't go right here. So I go, like, right about right here. And then I work my way around and then leave the end out again so I don't like work at the root I don't start curling at the very very roots because I just don't really like that look I like to curl um, where I showed ya down a few inches down below your the base of your hair um, let it fall I think it really helps and makes a big difference when you catch the curl in your hand and let it kind of um, cool in your hand just a little bit it takes a little bit more time yes but the results are better so so yes um, but anyways, any hoisins, I'm gonna go to the next curl. So pretty much, I mean, it's really easy, it really is. It's just time consuming. I would say set aside 40 minutes. I know, I know, but then you don't have to worry about your hair the next day. So it's like, it's really not that bad when you think about it, but you just have to have a little bit of extra time in your day. Look at that contour though. If you have a few flyaways, that's okay. Just spray that crap out of them with some hairspray. And I always get like, I always get the inside too. So that's the first round. We'll go back later, don't worry. Start from the bottom, now we're here. So I'm gonna pin it up, a little pin up girl action. Does anybody watch Dance Moms? Anybody? I watched it with my mom the other day. She's always talked so much crap, but she really enjoyed it. She actually did, and I was like, yep, that was me. I used to talk a lot of mad crap, and um, I love it now. I got this curling wand um, on sale. I don't know how much I bought it for. I want to say it was like, it was definitely no more than like 50 or $60. Um, I don't know how much they normally are. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll link all that information below, but it really wasn't expensive. I feel like it does a really good job. It's pretty well made. Um, at first when I got it, I was like, oh, it seems kind of cheap because it's really lightweight, like very, very light, but, um, but maybe they made it so where your arm doesn't get really tired when you're doing your hair. I don't, I don't know. It's like great that's lightweight, but then it kind of stinks as well because one thing that I don't like about it is that like it falls off my counter all the time because it's so light and the cord is like heavier, so it pulls it off. And then I try to like put it over my little um, towel, little metal thingy, um, you know, in the meantime, but it like doesn't work when I have it upside down. It like doesn't get hot, so 
First world problems. The other side took literally like super quick to do compared to the other side for some reason. I just have a lot more hair since my part is further over this way. I guess that's the, that's the way I'm looking at it. But anyways, I've been spraying my hair just a little bit through the sections. But I'm going to go ahead and give it one more spray. I always go down the middle, go back over this side. I've learned that your hair really does stay longer if you spray a crap ton of hairspray. Like when you know you're choking on your hairspray, that's when you know you're you're almost there. And also another product that I love that is pricey, but I love it and the smell freaking makes me want to eat it. And um, I'll just put it that way. Oribe, Oribe, whatever it's called, um, dry texturizing spray. And it smells so amazing. Like, let me give you my reaction. Oh. This little bottle was $21.50 for this little bottle. Um, I made my brother get it for me for my birthday. I mean, don't feel like you have to buy this. I hardly ever use this. You can still definitely achieve this look. I use this new me one. So pretty much the basics that you really need to style your hair if you want your hair to get this, um, to get this look is what you do is you use the new me wand and Elnet spray. So everything else is just kind of like optional. You don't have to use it or anything like that. I don't use everything always, but I mean, these are, these are the staples to this look. Definitely hundred percent. So what I do is I normally wait till my hair is pretty much uh, cool. Like it's all cool. I don't feel any warm curls or anything like that. And then I kind of run my fingers through um, because I don't like it to look way too overdone. I like a little bit of, um, like a little bit of softness in there. You see those like softer waves, you know? Yeah, it just kind of gives like a softer look. I love big, curly, messy, sexy hair. What I do for um, my flyaways and my face, because I tell you guys, oh my gosh, like I always have hairs in my face and stuff. It's so annoying. I spray my hand a little bit and I just run my fingers through the front. So hopefully I can get any hairs Sometimes they still come back, but oh well. That wraps up this hair tutorial. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. I know it was a different video. It's not about makeup, um, but you know, I think it was fun. It's good to do different stuff and mix it up. It is, my channel is called ET Beauty, so all things beauty, and who knows, maybe I'll throw in some other stuff at one point in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Please follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. I'm snapping all the time. My snaps are pretty interesting, um, so I warned you. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye, guys.